Welcome back to Sunrise Daily. You have just heard from Abubakar Kawu Baraje, a former national acting, uh, acting national chairman of the People's Democratic Party and now a member of the APC under the new PDP bloc, speaking on behalf of his members. And standing by with us here in the studio is Ahmed Gulak, a member of the ruling All Progressives Congress to break down some of the issues that are unfolding at the moment. Mr. Gulak, you're welcome to the program. Thank you. Happy to be here. Well, you've heard from uh, Mr. Baraje, uh, his, some of the grievances laid out by his block of the APC. Uh, what are you, what's your initial assessment? Well, as far as I'm concerned, you know, and the contents of the, the letter or the memo they have uh, written and forwarded, you know, these are people, part of the party as, as a bloc, that came in 2015 to join the legacy parties because APC was formed by the legacy parties, the ACN, the ANPP, the CPC, the ABGA, and the rest of them. Then new PDP pulled out of PDP to join and build the APC towards forming government in 2015. These are grievances. It's a political pressure. They feel they are sidelined. They feel they are marginalized. So you believe it's perceived, it's not real? Oh, well, it depends on how you look at it. Because as far as I'm concerned, the NPDP block or group in APC have had their good share. If you look at it, Senator Saraki, for example, is the Senate president. But, uh, uh, I'm coming. Okay. And some of them are governors. Mm -hmm. Some of them are senators. Some of them are ministers. So, you know, you know, they feel they are sidelined, but outside there, some people feel they have been adequately accommodated. Okay. It's an accommodation. It's accommodation of political interest. But be that as it may, this will not augur well for the party, the APC, the ruling party. There must be a strong internal mechanism to douse this tension, mm. to bring people on board to allay the fears that are being expressed. And this has to be done mm. so that the party will go into election as a united, strong party. Okay. The party should not be allowed to go into 2019 election divided and fragmented. Mr. Gulak, let's go into some of the grievances made by the new PDP. Yes. Uh, we understand that it's a seven-day ultimatum beginning from yesterday to meet with, they're asking to meet with the national leader of the party and the person of the president. They're also asking to meet with the national executive leadership of the party to address what they believe is um, an, an oppression, if you will, or a suppression of their influence within the party. Let me, let me go into the specifics. They have said, look, that if you look at the vote that they brought to the party, you've said that they weren't necessarily one of the legacy parties of the coalition. But if they, you look at the votes that they brought during the general election, that that was more than the difference in the election uh, victory of President Muhammadu Buhari. And they say that after that, of all the ministerial slots, for example, in the Federal Executive Council, only one out of 36 was granted to the new PDP bloc, and that happened to be to the Minister of Transportation, Rotimi Anechi, who they say delivered virtually nothing in terms of votes from River State for the president. What are your thoughts about that? First and foremost, it is a fact that Rotimi Amechi was the director general of the Buhari campaign organization. And we know also as a fact, yes, the new PDP came in, contributed their own quota in forming this government. They should be treated fairly, like every other member that has contributed. But let us also know the fact that from 2003 to 2011, that General Buhari contested the presidency of this nation. His vote has always been 12 million. Let us not forget this fact. Now, in 2015, when there was a viable partnership with the ACN bloc in the APC, led by Asiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinbu, you know the votes that was brought from the Southwest that made the difference. So people should not lose focus on this. Agreed, every 
member of the political party who has worked should be accommodated. And their grievances, they, they don't need to give ultimatum. It's a give, it should be a matter of course that meetings with the hierarchy of the party is just usual, normal, and at that level, they don't have to give ultimatum. Mm -hmm. At the level mm -hmm. of the leaders of the NPDP, I always believe that they know the channels to go and have such meeting Mr. with the leadership of the party or the president. But Mr. Gulak, I'm sure even you would agree that if you look at what the new PDP currently has within the APC right now, yeah. in terms of elected positions, in terms of influence, are those, uh, you'll find that they had to fight, scratch and claw for almost everything they had. I mean, you cited uh, Senate President Bukola Saraki. Yeah. We know how he emerged. Yeah. We know what it took for him to emerge yeah. against the will of the party. The yeah. party, of course, at that time... Yeah, I agree, I, 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 I agree I, I, entirely. I agree entirely. He has not been properly No, no, it, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not referring just to Saraki okay. now. Uh, we know that it was Senator Al Ahmad Lawan was the choice of the party from the ANPP at that time. Yeah. And, of course, Femi Baja Biamila from the ACN as Speaker of the House. Of yeah. course, Yakubu Dogara, part of this same group we're talking about, emerged, NPP. had to fight, yes. Yeah. Now, if they had to fight for pretty much everything that they have, and we know that in the Executive Council they're essentially un mis un un underrepresented, yeah. can you really say that they've been treated fairly and that their grievances are, are just perceived? I am telling you that I agree that some of them have not been treated fairly. Some of them, not all of them. Amechi is from the NPDP. He's the Minister of Transportation. Is part of the NPDP. But one out of are they, I'm, co I'm mm -hmm. coming. Mm -hmm. Are they excluding him from their fold? The answer is no. He's part of NPDP. But what we are saying is that the NPDP, the AP, ANPP, the CPC, the, 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 the ABGA, they have come to form what is called APC. It's unfortunate that they have refused to blend up to today. Now we are approaching election. These things are coming up. It's for political gains. It's for political debate. It's for political negotiation. All these things happening around us is for political negotiation. Who gets what in 2019? Congresses have been conducted across the country, world congresses. You have seen hues and cries all over. It's about political negotiation. And that is why I always advocate that there must be a strong internal mechanism to reduce this rancor, to reduce this crisis. Not everybody will become everything at the same time. Mm. Okay. So that is why we have to subsume our individual interests mm. to group interests for the sake of this country, but, for the sake of the development of the party, for the growth of the party. Mr. Gulak, I was listening closely as you explained kind of the breakdown and how you felt that essentially President Buhari comes with 12 million votes and that once you get the Southwest uh, under the watch of uh, Governor Tinubu, that once you put that together, essentially, you're at the victory lap. That, that has been the political analysis. Well, well, but, but, 